said, we're in a mercantilistic uh, society where everybody's a mer uh, merchant. And if you're poor, oh, you're a shitty merchant. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, dude, these people aren't merchant class people, dude. Like, we've all known throughout history who the merchant classes are. The Northern Chinese, uh, the Italians. These, these are very specific groups of people. The Dutch, the... Um, uh, like the it's not everybody who are merchant class people. The Parisians yes, yes, the correct. Parisians like the Genoans. And now America's like, yeah, everybody can do it. You know, everybody can maximize risk. You know, like Jesus fucking Christ. Yo, but I'm saying, man, like, yo, legitimately, they not. It's, and I tell you, we're gonna get into the smoke here soon, right? Legitimately. Right? No, but I know. Like he talks about all this shit. Like I, I, I told you, I've read like some of his shit. I've read uh, some of his substacks. I've read not all of them in order. Like I still have yet to do that, but. Um, I agree with a lot of his like criticisms and some of his, um, you know, uh, ideas. I'm not necessarily against all of it, but I also want you to watch the dissident right guy, Praise of Folly. He made yeah, a series yeah, yeah. called Deconstructing uh, Moldbug and explains all the things he gets wrong. And I, it's really fucking good. Like this guy's <laughs> a history nerd, uh, like, uh, like, you know, in many respects he knows church history he knows um european history pretty well so he can actually counter like his actual points in a long form manner where he <laughs> does it very professionally you should check it out what's, what's his name the criticism yeah. of the very very underrated channel by the way praise the falling yeah yes what's, hell yeah what's his hell name yeah. Praise uh, of Folly. I, I sent you the, uh, in the Discord DM. Okay. Yeah, and he's yeah. made so far in the last three years 27 hour and a half videos about what Moldbug gets wrong. Oh, so can, can, I, can I put this forward? I, I, to some extent, I feel like I have to argue for um, anarcho capitalism at this point. Uh, like, okay. It's what we have I, now. I, I, no, that's not oh. at all what we have now. Mm -hmm. um, what? But I mean, we, what I would we say, don't have it now. what what I would say is that, um, like, it seems as though every single time that humanity tries to govern itself, uh, something goes wrong. We uh, have so far, capitalism uh, now, son. That's what this is. We do not. Oh, um, we actually, we actually have kind of the opposite. We have like a 1984 style, like a uh, corpo. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, you're right. But you're that's right, what, what arises out of an anarchist <laughs> <Yeah. capitalist system, laughs> dude. Yeah. Yeah. Legitimately, well, that, like, this is the that, argument that uh, John Adams was making because, earlier. No, 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 that I mean, when I mean, you have a democracy okay. or an anarchy, sure. what arises is that the sure. warlords take oh, over. Some well, warlords who have nothing to do with you Apple come system. out of nowhere and take over. And you know, wait, wait, wait. You know who is a modern wait. iteration of a warlord. I would, I would, yo, I would completely agree. I would completely Walmart agree. But, 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 I would say, yo, yo let, let I would say, respond. Tom, give him a chance. What I would say in general is that, um, uh, when it, uh, when it comes to, um, I guess a, uh, uh, like a, uh, I don't. I don't think that there has ever been an instance of tr of of anarcho capitalism. True anarcho capitalism. There's okay. never been an instance of it. So, like everything that exists in the world right now, is a result of human planning and government, <coughs> I can, and it appears to suck. I can give you. Uh, I can what give I you what I think is that what I think is that um, you know what I can think of an instance where there was anarcho capitalism, and that was twenty thousand years ago. No, twenty thousand years ago, man existed in a state of anarcho capitalism, and it was better. It was just better. I mean, uh, uh, this what was if pretty I were to tell you that Iceland, scientists in medieval Iceland, this no. was very common. Yeah, no, no, hold up. Oh, what if I were um, to tell you that fifty thousand years ago there were resource wars in Northeast Africa where they found the markings of uh, weapons? from a group of people that were trying to protect resources on a mountain. That would not necessarily surprise me. Okay. And right. Yeah, so okay, no. resource wars, uh, look, like... One of the they've, not just they've existed for a long time. Mr. Yeah, Google, so even, Mr. Google like, wants to talk. Let Mr. Google talk, uh, and, please. Okay. Yeah. So, General, when, when you mean uh, anarcho... Thanks, Tom. Uh, when you mean anarcho, you still mean, like, you still say that there's, like, still a, uh, a government to protect uh, rights. What? Yeah, like like there's still a government that exists. Like this is like a like literal no structure in society. When I say when I say anarcho, I mean that there's still a government. What the fuck are you saying? I don't understand. No, no, no. Like there's still like some sort of a place of, of structure that prevents people from uh, killing each other, right? There's still like some sort of rule of land. Oh yeah, yeah. Check this out. So here's the structure: if you kill someone, 
you're probably going to get killed back. So just don't fucking do that. Okay. All right. First off, can I say something first? Very off? simple structure. Can I say, can I say XD? What up, man? I've been meaning to say that for like two hours. I apologize. I haven't said what up to you. Right. Second. Yeah, nothing much. <laughs> I've been active on Twitter. Yeah, man. Listen, I got booted. Right. I got fucking, I got yeeted off of fucking Twitter um, because I used a forbidden meme. How? Um, um, I may have made a meme that said GDP number go up, bigot, with uh, the Health and Human Services Secretary. That's a trans woman. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they didn't like that much. Um, yeah, so I got yeeted off of Twitter. Uh, secondly, and on top of that, I uh, may have posted up my stream about uh, fucking, like, uh, you know, having a funeral for Uncle Ted. Um, but, yeah, they didn't like that either. But uh, secondly, uh, all right. So, general, right now we are we are in anarcho capitalism. Like right now, where we are talking, okay? How the inter so the internet was anarcho capitalistic when it started, and what happened was, is that you ended up having Google and Amazon and like these giant ass warlords take over this bitch. No. Yeah. Like so, no, general, because do you think that, uh, well, no, no, I'm I'm saying no specifically because um, if you look at Google, right? If you look at Facebook, how much federal uh, investment did they get? A massive amount. It's like it almost seems like match like a, a an amount of federal investment that was uh, wasted in the Iraq wars. Um, yeah they didn't they didn't get uh, so, no but then the federal government then they didn't regulate it when they funded it though <laughs> it was pretty yeah. wild west was it not yes it was for a little while like what federal laws were there governing us downloading shit on napster like letting kids get groomed by 30 50 year old men on the internet in the 1990s on aim what yeah. stopped that yeah no it, yeah. it was it was it was common sense right there um there, uh, there wasn't anyone regulating it, and yet, really, there wasn't that much damage that came from the Wild West Internet. I mean, like, theoretically, uh, you could do anything on there. And, uh, and I don't know, bro. <laughs> All these millennials growing up, a lot of them probably did get like affected from being groomed as children uh, on AIM. Yeah, you're sure. not. You're not. I mean, wrong. Yeah, you might yeah, say nay, no, wrong. they didn't, but. Uh, I don't know, bro. <laughs> like and especially how... when all your friends are online from the 90s and on, you think, like, there's a reason why millennials are so antisocial to me and, like, a gen, a whoever's after the Zoomers and shit. Like, I don't know. Yeah, man. I, like, dude, do you know, so, like, how We're much, so normalized. Like, this is how just... Yeah, go ahead. Do you know how much porn, like, fucking I, I, I was, like, exposed to and downloaded and, like... All the evil, terrible things that I witnessed that, like, it kept, like when I was a child, like kept snuff, me up for uh, porn yeah, yeah, that I yeah. down downloaded by accident on the, Napster. The horses, yeah. mm -hmm. fucking bitches, and like just all the terrible things that I witnessed as a child, right? You know, I mean, I was literally a child. Like the amount of times I was in a chat room and like, you know, I mean, and, and like a fucking uh, an instant message or a DM or whatever. Right. And literally like they're like, motherfucker, I got other people trying to sex with me at like fucking like 11, 12 years old. Like that was a normal thing back in the day. dude. Yeah. And like we all grew up with it as if it was normal, by the way, our whole yeah. generation. Yeah. Like this is why our like humor is so fucking dark because we have went through so much dark shit online mm -hmm. that nothing faces us anymore. Yeah. Like us watching cartel members chop people is like arms off. Oh yeah, like this is sound. why horror movies have become sound? so boring to all of us too. By the way, yo, I remember like the sound was what bothered me, bro. Like yo, when I watched him cut his fucking head off and shit, right? And like it sounded like a fucking pig. It was like the the gasping and like the fucking esophagus. Yeah. It was ah ah, it was just fucking horrible, bro. The larynx, like it just ah. Like, uh, you know what's, uh, what's ironic? With all this freedom, we're going back to like the Iron Age where kids were exposed to this because like they would have Huns raiding them every fucking year. We're doing this to ourselves with our own freedom. And this is what I keep noticing with liberalism, that we're literally doing what we called savage behavior from 2000 years ago, like literally voluntarily to ourselves. Like back in the day, it was horrible if your parents didn't uh, weren't alive to take care of you or they chose not to. 
in America, we incentivize it. Like all our policies lead to that being normalized, to you having single parents, to you having, you literally being an orphan, like you having the life and culture of a fucking orphan who's been ripped from his uh, uh, culture. In America, we let you do that to yourself voluntarily and your parents to do that to you voluntarily. Yo, latchkey kids uh, so in general. Uh, I, have a, I had a question I wanted to ask you. Um, it's up. So what if somebody just like wins the market competition? Like what if they're just so successful, they're so good at being a, a marketeer uh, that they just like end up dominating the market? They become the most successful businessman in the world. And maybe it just have to be like one person. It can be like 10, you know, five, just like a, a group or one individual that end up just being so successful at business you, um, that they dominate the market. Do you, do you know what a, uh, do you know what you call a perpetual monopoly? A gene. Yeah. So, well, what do you think like happens after these people win this competition? Like, what do you think happens? To, uh, like, what do you think they do? If you become like, a winner, are you not going to form a government? Like that. This is what ends up happening. Like, why would you allow people to compete with you at, from an anarchist perspective when you when you have the option not to? Right, like, w why let people freely, uh, you know, compete with you on a, an equal footing with you when you can simply just restrict them? Like, because you have all this power, all this market capital. For the for the same reason that um, life, even though it's existed for four billion years, uh, it still has a shit ton of chaos in it. It just, it's you know, some things are <coughs> it, it, how structures exist. So you want to go back to the age where we didn't have a military because it was much better to get raided every year by the Huns. Well, and well by this the is I would remotely. Agree. Well, this is what like probably <laughs> happens in the like this is how like no the because this is how all these agricultural societies were destroyed that didn't survive. Go ahead, sorry man. I, I, yeah, yeah, no, I no, it's you. good. Uh, so like what happened in like the Bronze Age, right? Is that like eventually some people just figured out how to farm way better than others. And then these people just started were able to hire other young men to fight for them yes, and created the, a permanent military. military. Yes. And then, <laughs> and then, like the Bronze Age, they made one of the most aristocratic societies you could imagine. And then uh, this led to like this is what probably led to democracy and like the first introduction of liberal ideas being introduced in like Greek and uh, Phoenician colonies, right? Um, so like th th that's what would happen if we were trying to attempt like complete anarcho-capitalism. I mean, it's how. Oh, yeah, it, and then we would get peasant rebellions and slave rebellions. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All true. So, and, and, and then, and then, like another one is that the 1930s, like fascism, socialism, and communism, were a direct rebellion against aristocratic liberalism. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. it was a, it was a reaction to industrialization in the end of the day. Yeah, it was a reaction. It was a reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is what happens in like all capitalism is where uh, you cannot like a. A, uh, like stifen the merchant class's uh, influence on politics. Uh, if you cannot do that, then the merchant class will dominate your society, and then uh, restrict the market. Like that's what, the, and they'll, they'll become the oligarchy, as that's their ultimate goal. Like that's what they want. And this is what happens in every society with warlords. Like if you look at China for the last four thousand years, the the dynasties are just the warlords who won and tried to keep their like society going. And then all these random warlords from like the western and southern parts would try to take over their society and their wealth and their power. And there was nothing to stop them except you have a, you having a strong military to withstand that. Yeah, I mean, like if you, even even so if you go the only back... way a society is able to sustain its uh, yeah, go ahead. I say even if you go back to say like the Dutch East India Company, right? In the end of the day, like that was anarcho-capitalism, like, at its very finest. Like, literally, they hired their own fucking military and just went to war. Well, I mean, that was actually a state-backed uh, venture. No, 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 like no, the it, Dutch no. It became, trading company. it became, it became a motherfucking, true, uh, true, whatchamacallit, yeah. right? It started off as, like, just a private company. Right, that hired military members to go and just yes, but they were pants. still back. Like the charters back then, though the charters back then, like royal charters, uh, that's what they did. Though it gave you the ability, like the backing of the, uh, the royal 
um, king. Like the the even Jamestown's charter was like a charter given by the king to. I like mean, he I didn't mean, James, allow anyone James to give Jamestown's possible. charter is a different thing, right? The Dutch East India Company, what it was was. So no, no, no. They, but I'm just saying. Mm-hmm, I mean, all right. So like, what? Like, this, this is like for general, right? As a whole, right? Um. So like, what happened was is like they stood there and they sold like in order to like do these uh like voyages to go pick up shipments or whatever it is, right? They had to sell off shares, right? To you know, what I mean, so like, yeah. Um, basically, like the Dutch East India Company sold off shares, no. right? And when they sold off shares to, you know, what I mean, common people and whatnot, and because like how bad the voyage was, right, and how expensive it was, like like nobody individually could fund it, right? And the and the government didn't want to fund it, right? As as an in general thing, right? They just didn't want to fund it. And like once it became successful and it became like something where like literally they had to start hiring like fucking mercenaries and armies. To help protect the vessels and like go out and protect the crops and protect like the shipments and end up enslaving people and so they needed people to th- over there to guard all this stuff that's when the government started getting involved because of how profitable be- it became right but it originally started off as just a like a mm-hmm. regular company that was doing whatever it wanted to do overseas and it had no charter from the government to do so yeah i mean like uh what anarcho capitalism eventually um devolves into is uh Government. A unification between the state and uh, uh, the economy, which one of the key liberal or libertarian points is a separation of those two things. Like, even if you're in, let, let's say we go back like 2,000 years ago, let's say you're a little valley uh, town and you guys are doing pretty damn good and um, you want to maintain that town, like, you have to have state force. You need to have a military. You need to have defenses. And those things are not never built by like the general people. Like, because if you're an agrarian society, you can have a permanent military. How? Like, where are you gonna get the money from? You're all just subsistence living. It's only it with the excess of of uh of um goods like wheat that you're able to build a permanent military, for example. Yeah, and and not just that. Like, so the 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 idea of how like how like successful you are, it's when you have less people, right? So like the lower I, amount of people I, it takes to produce goods, right? You know, what I mean, like the more successful you are, right? Like the more production per each individual, right? And so like you'll end up having like less people create a whole bunch of stuff, and then therefore you have less people to be able to defend it. That's abundance. Uh, General, you wanted to say something? Um, fuck, I lost it. <laughs> uh, I think, honestly, uh, General, do you want to listen to this argument by Hans Hermann Oppo? No, with us, no, where... fucking hell no, please no. Okay, <laughs> all right. Do you not like him? Or... No, I just, I, 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 pref- I, I understand the lecture. I get the lecture. I like to do the lecture on my own time. Um, when I'm with people, I would much rather have the conversation. Right, but then you can discuss the various points of the lecture. Like, well, just remember the fucking the lecture. Same tired. Like, all right, I'm sure. How long have you been on Discord for? Because I know you've debated anarcho capitalism with people for like the last ten years. Have you made any progress? Have you been able to beat like state arguments? Have um, you reconciled uh, the the with the uh, failures of anarcho capitalism? Because yeah. as someone who was a liberal no, I think, and became a progressive, I th- as a socialist, an anarchist, and a libertarian, I've had to argue all of those defenses against all those points, and then had to reconcile the failures of those when I couldn't yeah. answer those questions. Yeah, no, right? no, I, I, and I think that I'm I just have asking, actually. You're you, you're saying have you made any progress? I'm saying yes, yes. I think I made quite a bit of progress. But so then why hasn't there been successful anarcho-capitalist societies all throughout for the last how many millennia? Like 50, 80,000 years, 100,000 years? My, why isn't that the force? The actually, my, my position is actually that um, anarcho-capitalism uh, existed uh, basically up until mankind made civilization. And uh, my position is Oh, mankind is like, uh, it's being autistic. Uh, we should actually return to anarcho capitalism.
stop being so arrogant as to think think that the thing that man has constructed is fundamentally different than nature. Nature is way older than us, right? Like that just makes sense to me. Well, like we we uh, we discussed like what that turns into. Like, do you have anything to say about like, like uh, about anarcho capitalism? Like in this nature sense, like if if you were to go and and hoard all the bananas, they would just kill you. You, you yeah. wouldn't be like, oh, this is all my bananas. I collected them all. I can hoard them while you guys all starve. I know. You know. They, yeah, yeah, they yeah, would yeah, just yeah. kill you. Yeah, yeah. The what? state protects you. Like, no, 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 no. System. no, 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 no. The thing is that the, the thing that you have to understand about nature is that actually nature is inherently chaotic. There is, you'll notice, uh, the government. Um, there's no such thing as a government in nature, but there is such thing as a government when it comes to humans. Um, I mean, that's that's a weird thing, right? Why is it that there... I mean, nature is so infinitely more complex and more intelligent than, than uh, humans are, and yet it has no government. Notice something, okay? No, because... The no, that, that's because they're ruled by instinct, sir. They don't need it because they're ruled by instinct, not reason. Humans need it because we need something more than just... Bro, like, I've explained this. It's if humans bad. were animals, all we would need is social norms. All we would need is the monkey hitting us and me hitting you to never do that again to me. You, I think right? you misunderstand but, the intelligence of nature. No, 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 no. but the intelligence of nature is the non-choice factor. It. That's not it, right? So, okay, like, you have, you have two different types of nature. You have animal and plant nature, right, in the end of the day, right? So, in plant nature, you're basically stationary unless, like, you're, like, a floating seaweed type of thing. Right, but in animal nature, right, like you're always in a level of where you're either trying to fuck or eat, right, and before you die, because like your lifespan is extremely short, and your ability to produce enough food for you to be able to survive on a daily basis and continue to go on and do what you need to do is limited, right? But as human beings, we can produce so much that we're able to sit here and have extra time to do dumb shit and fuck things up. Right, so our extra time, and not only that, the fact that we have to produce so much food to be able to like run our body and our brain at the same time, that like we require massive amounts of calories and proteins, like like per our weight, we like we we consume a massive amount of fucking food, right? But we produce, we have to have that all year round. We can't go, you know, I mean, four months without fucking eating and drinking. So we have to provide for ourselves in the winter time and in the fucking summer and in the fall and in the spring, which requires us to be disciplined and maintain government so that all of us can survive as a family unit, right? With, you know, I mean, our excesses and not waste them and squander them. That's why we have government. That's why. Well, it's, um, well, it's not only that, but it's also uh, the fact that humans uh, have the, uh, the ability to willingly create things which is um, a, a power unique to humanity, right? The, like, the, the idea of willing, uh, willing creation is like the concept of God. Like, that, that is the original concept of God. And uh, this power is like a total game changer for, like, literally everything. Because we have the, the, the choice to now affect what nature is and to evolve it. So, like, uh, this, this higher mental function, which is given to us by nature, uh, completely evolves it, nature. Uh, it doesn't get rid of the base principles of nature, but it it does uh, involve it to modifies like a much it. higher scale. Yeah, it modifies yeah. it. It's yeah. like it's it's what evolution is. Like uh, evolution is not getting rid of the principles, but it, it still change, and that's what uh, this willing creation is. And like government is nothing more than the unification of your value of hierarchies and no. saying to enforce them. No, no, no. From my perspective, uh, there is something corrupted about government it doesn't flow with the rest of nature um there's just there's it's something there's something autistic about it i think it's it's a it's 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 something that i think humanity has to solve because like uh humanity does not have to be a bad thing but every single time that humanity has ever bad been a bad thing it has had